Hello, my name is Susie Ashworth. I am your pregnancy coach and co-founder of the Calm Birth School. And this week's blog post um, was inspired by a couple of questions that we had in the students area last week. We had some women asking if the negative thoughts that had been creeping into their minds about their birth was going to prevent them from having the positive experience that we all want you guys to create. So we thought if they're asking that question, you guys may be too. And as you know, we like to keep it real. And so the honest answer is, is that both Holly and myself have encountered women in the past that haven't been completely able to release the negative emotions that they've had about their births and still gone on to create really positive birthing experiences. However, they are the exception rather than the rule. And the reason for that is just simple science. We know that when we are fearful during our births, we produce an excess amount of adrenaline. And that adrenaline prevents our body from responding optimally to the process of birth. And we also know that when we are fearful in our pregnancies, it te tends to be those fears that we take into the labour room with us. So the best thing that you can possibly do is to acknowledge that you are having fears, if you are, and then release and let them go. So notice that I did say acknowledge, release and let go rather than bury your head in the sand and pretend everything's okay. So it's a bit like, you know, when somebody says to you, oh, how's your birth going? And you're like, yeah, yeah, it's fine, great. Inside, dying. We kind of want to avoid that. So in today's post, I'm going to give you three helpful hints to help you to do just that, acknowledge, release and let go. So the first thing that you need to do is when you've identified that you have a fear or a worry, you need to write that down on a piece of paper. And then when you look at that fear, you need to come up with three reasons why that fear is irrational or unlikely to feature in your birth experience. And if you can't think of three reasons, then come over to the Facebook group, ask myself or Holly, speak to your midwife or any other childbirth educator. Once you've got your three reasons why you think that this fear is unlikely to feature in your birth, I then want you to think of three other reasons that if this fear does come up, how you can respond to that in a positive way. So three ways that you can respond to that occurrence in a positive way. So once you've got your six reasons written down, all I then want you to do is take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, I want you to visualize that fear literally just floating out of you into the atmosphere. And once you've done that, I want you to gauge how that feeling feels within you when you look at that fear on the paper again. A good way to gauge where you are with things is to use a scaling technique, a technique that I use with my clients. So one is completely relaxed and at peace with whatever it is you're feeling, and 10 is feeling highly emotional or anxious about what it is that you're feeling. So all you have to do is decide where you fall on that scale from one to 10. Any number that is kind of below four, three, you're doing really, really well. Obviously the ideal is one, but three or four is absolutely fine. Anything above that, just rinse and repeat the exercise until you can bring that fear or the feeling of anxiety about that worry right down the scale. If you are a Calm Birth School student, then listen to your fear release MP3s. That is what we have designed them for. And the great thing about them is that they work with you at the deepest level, really kind of getting into your subconscious and changing that emotional attachment. And all you have to do is sit back, relax, and listen to mine and Holly's voices. So it works, use them, and listen to it at least once a week, and certainly whenever you notice something coming up. The third thing that we can all do is visualize the birth that we really want to experience. And when I say visualize it, don't just see it in your mind, but really feel it. 
you know, incorporate all of those senses. You know, think about how it's going to feel to feel really comfortable as you're birthing. How you're going to be able to deal with any of the twists and turns that may arise really comfortably and confidently. Remember, hypnobirthing isn't about guaranteeing perfect, straightforward births from A to B, although you are much more likely to experience one of those if you use these tools and techniques. It is, however, about creating a positive experience with whatever situation that you're faced with on the day. So just really get into imagining and feeling yourself, being able to work with your body in the way that you desire. So they are my three handy hints. Um, let me know what you think, leave a comment in the box below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.